guys, welcome back to We Watch the Movie Mike here, and I gotta do a really quick movie news video for you, because I just wanted to do one. I just wanted to do one. I felt like it. I fucking make my own bedtimes, I'm my own man, I can watch whatever movies I want to, rated R, unrated, I don't give a shit. I do what I want. And today, what was that noise? I'm scared. Movie news reactions. What this is is that I find I look at stuff that I think is gonna be interesting. I pop it up in different windows on here, and we find it out together. Let's start off with this one. Uh, this is all today from ScreenRant.com, by the way. That's where I got all these news stories from. Today, starting out, Friday the Thirteenth reboot gains prisoners writer and loses director. I'm so sick of these having issues. It's a fucking slasher movie, and nobody ever gets it right. And you guys keep fucking shit up. Like I get if you want. to you know, kudos to you for not rushing it, Halloween 2, and uh, trying to get it right. Uh, the same thing with the Halloween Returns sequel, but I, it's just, it bums me the fuck out. Like, how do people not get their visions together and, like, let's go to work on this? It's been how many fucking years we've been promised these movies? They can't be that hard to make. If you guys are out here making the fucking shit that you're making, like this... 7th Wave bullshit trailer I just saw, or Ride Along 2, we can't get a fucking Jason movie? Jesus! I'm starting out with some fucking anger today, and a lot of curse words. Anyways. Shoo. Despite being one of the most beloved horror icons in modern history, Jason Voorhees just can't seem to catch a break as of late. No shit. Even though his most recent Friday the 13th adventure cleaned up at the box office back in 2009, Paramount remains unwilling to pull the trigger on the actual production of a new Camp Crystal Lake Massacre. Exactly. The fucking problem. A new Jason outing was officially greenlit by the studio back in 2013, with the film being, uh, with the, I can't read. The film being, I should've went to college. The film being giving... Uh, planned 2015 release date, then it was bumped to 2016, what's wrong with me? Then it was bumped to 2016 and fans groaned, and then it was bumped back to 2017 and fans sighed. According to The Wrap, director David Bruckner, who did The Signal, which was a badass movie, um, is no longer attached to the project. Why? Uh, with the film's nearly constant delays, F-13's producers reportedly felt it would be unfair to expect Bruckner to simply wait around until the latest script Paramount Commission was ready. Oh! Yeah! That is such horseshit, man. I mean, I don't blame him, but you had a good director. Paramount is currently in final negotiations to hire prisoner scribe Aaron Gusakowski to pin the latest attempt at rebooting Jason, according to Variety. That's awesome, because that Prisoners was a damn good movie, so uh, someone with uh, the caliber of an, of an Oscar possible movie, doing a horror movie, awesome. That's supremely badass, and that's that's fantastic news, uh, but I hate that they lost that director, and I'm just pissed it keeps getting pushed back, man. Like, in my lifetime, I want as much Michael, Freddy, and Jason as I can freaking get, and you guys need to get on the damn ball. I mean, come on! Anyways, that's how I fucking feel about that. Let me know how you guys feel about that below. Next up, Indiana Jones 5. Steven Spielberg says Harrison Ford will not be replaced. That's good news. Uh, Disney and Lucasfilm now fully owns the rights to both Star Wars and Indiana Jones franchises alike. And everything that you own in your house is property of Disney and the Pope. They bought the Pope today. It doesn't say any of that, but uh, they fucking own everything. Indiana Jones 5 is nonetheless a topic that continues to be raised in conversations around the movie news sphere. I can't fucking read. Steven Spielberg during an interview with Screen Daily says, I don't think anyone could replace Harrison as Indy. I don't think that's ever going to happen. It's certainly not my intention to ever have another actor step into his shoes in the way there have been many actors that have played Spider-Man or Batman. There's only going to be one actor playing Indiana Jones, and that's Harrison Ford. I gotta love the dedication to the character that he made. Harrison Ford is Indiana Jones, and always thus shall be Indiana Jones. You like what I did there? That sounded fancy. I don't know. I'm cool with it to an extent. I think Harrison Ford's too old to play Indiana Jones. It's just my personal opinion. I think seeing him as Han Solo, even though I'm pumped about this shit, just looks weird. Uh, and I, and I, don't, I don't mean anything bad by it. It just looks weird to me. One day I'm gonna get old, and I... Not going to do anything half as talented as what he's doing. But it just doesn't feel right to me. I don't want to see him playing Indiana Jones. I think he's too old. That's just my opinion. Uh, and actually, I think Chris Pratt would do a fuck of a job. And that means good. That's good. I think he'd do awesome as Indiana Jones. So maybe it's not such good news after all. But I gotta love that he's respecting the character. And he's not just wanting to shell out cash for, you know, whatever. Whoever just step in. Someone just step into the shoes and we'll film it and make a shit ton of money. I gotta appreciate that from Spielberg. Other Star Wars news featuring Han Solo, a young Han Solo movie auditioning more than 2,500 actors. By the way, young Han Solo movie sounds badass. I think that's a great idea. Uh, the young Han Solo movie will take place before A New Hope, obviously, because it'll be young Han Solo. Uh, directors Phil Lord and Chris Miller 
um, aren't expected to start filming the Young Han Solo movie until late 2016, early 17. By the way, they're great choices for it. You're going to have some great Han Solo type comedy in there, and those guys are good directors. I've already begun the search to find the actor who will follow in Harrison Ford's footsteps, which will be huge news. THR, Hollywood Reporters, reporting that more than 2,500 actors have either met about the Young Han Solo project or have sent in taped auditions to the film's casting director, G.N. McCarthy. Based on the THR report, a number of better-known actors who are formerly in the running for the movie now also made the cut on our rundown of actors who could play Han Solo, which includes Aaron Taylor Johnson, Kick-Ass, Avengers Age of Ultron, I don't, I don't like that at all, Miles Teller, um, maybe, maybe, yeah, I mean, he's a good actor, yeah, I, yeah, maybe, I don't know if I like it or not. Maybe no one should do this, now that I think about it. This is weird. Uh, Nick Robinson from The Kings of Summer, Jurassic World. Uh, no, I, hmm, no, I don't want anybody to do it. I just made my decision. I don't want this movie to happen. <laughs> no, I don't know who could do it. And the last one is Ansel Elg Elgort from Divergent and the Fault in Our Stars. And I think that's a fucking horrible choice. I think they based that on who looked good in a vest. No, that doesn't make any sense at all. Like, I don't get that. The kid seems too, like, sweet. That's the new movie news I wanted to talk about. Apparently, Alamo Drafthouse, by the way, is opening a Star Wars-themed theater, and I want to fucking go there. And that's all I have to say about that. That looks sick as shit. Check that out. Check all that stuff out I just said on ScreenRant.com if you want to. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below with your thoughts on today's movie news. Who do you think should play young Han Solo? Do you think that they should make another Harrison Ford with Indiana Jones? That, I got that backwards. And who would you guys like to see direct the new Friday the 13th movie? Now that they lost their awesome director. Comment below. Let me know. Follow us at we watch the movie on Twitter. I love your faces. If you're new to this place, click that subscribe button and get some wham up in you.